Hey, welcome back to the channel. So yes, I'm not in the outdoors or showing you some weird statue today. I thought we'd do something a bit different, uh, so I won't be vlogging, but like I promised, I said I would do a little unboxing video. I have received lots of wonderful gifts from the kids. Um, I have managed to pack them into a few smaller bags just for ease of carrying, but I think it's time that we now unbox a few and see exactly what that is. I can't say that these are going to be surprises for me, but unlike other unboxing videos, it's not going to be any weird advertising or promotional content in this, unless I randomly accidentally say the brand name of something without meaning to, because it's the only English bit on the box that I'm actually able to read. But yeah, without further ado, I think it's time that we delve into this stuff and show you exactly what little gifts I have been given. So starting off with this one here, uh, this one has been a bit battered uh, in the journeys between various camps. This is one of the first ones I got given. I initially thought that it might be tea. That's often a common gift that uh, get given here. Uh, but then there's the box is filled with these little packages. Um, I'm not even going to pronounce that. Shwago nogajigo. Yeah. Inside the little packages are these mini dried fruits. Um, They have an interesting taste. It's not a bad one. It's just unusual. I haven't really come across it before. It's very sweet and I can't really finish more than one at a time. I got given this wonderful little toy just at the most recent camp. Let's see if I can remember how it works. Once you press this down, it starts changing its face. Uh, there are about eight different faces that it flicks through, uh, which I thought was super cute and is really actually quite fun just to play with when you've lost your mind and need something random to do. Yeah, this is one of the coolest ones, uh, gifts that I've been given, I would say. A few of the gifts that I was given were the sort of Christmas cards and Easter eggs that the kids have drawn during our lessons uh, since we were teaching about British festivals, Christmas, Easter and bonfire night and two of the activities were designing your own Easter eggs and designing your own Christmas cards. It was really sweet that they wanted to give me their Christmas cards that they made. Uh, so this one has a little present on the front uh, with Christmas trees on top of the presents, which is a quite neat idea. Uh, Merry Christmas on the back with another Christmas tree. And then just a message inside. Dear Jonathan, Merry Christmas. Another Christmas card with Christmas trees and presents. Christmas trees were the general consensus when drawing these Christmas cards. But when they were drawing them, we went around and asked if they knew the English names for the things that they were drawing or the colours that they were using, just to, you know, help give them an extra word and continue to improve their English. Uh, so this one, uh, I went over and showed them how to spell star that was on the top of their Christmas tree. One more Christmas tree. And then a few Easter eggs. Um, this guy decided to draw a bit of a face uh, with the words, you can't see me on them, uh, sort of wearing a bit of a mask. And then this guy went a bit crazy with the lines. Uh, he did a nice little squiggle pattern on his. So up next, I got this postcard. Uh, there might be a few other postcards lying around, actually. So this one has a lovely little windmill scene on it. So thank you very much for that. 
One girl decided to give us all these really sweet personalized messages. My dear foreign friend, hello, nice to meet you. Uh, thanks so much for coming from a great distance to Xiamen, China. It's a really, really good thing to meet you. I don't have some gift for you, but I have my honest heart and some words for you. I don't know whether we can meet again, but meeting each other is beautiful. I will also keep the beautiful memory we together in my mind. I don't want you guys leave, but all good things come to an end. Good luck. I believe I can see you again. Thank you so much. I hope to see you again as well. So this one I have shown you before. This is the key ring that I was given by the group of girls uh, when we went to the island, I think it was, uh, during the first camp. It's got a nice little lighthouse scene. I think I taught them for a bit, but we actually mostly bonded on both liking K-pop music and particularly the girl group Blackpink. Thank you so much for this. I then got this mysterious little box. If we open it up, there's this really lovely picture. I was like really surprised when I got this because it's so lovely. This is definitely one that I want to put up in my room somewhere when I get back home. Uh, it's just absolutely lovely. Uh, and yes, thank you so much for this one. And ultimately in this first little box, uh, I got given these sunglasses. Because you know, it's so hot out here and the sun is here all the time. I could definitely do with a second pair of sunglasses. So thank you so much for these. Sorry, I'm gonna stop checking myself out in the camera. I think we can just leave those there. I also got a couple of these. If you remember the Chinese knot making uh, session that we had, I think the aim was to try and create something like this. Mine failed catastrophically. Another one that was in its box. This was a bit of a common gift, but it's still super nice and you know, can build up a collection of them. First box is officially done. On to box number two. I got this uh, cute little package with a bow and inside we have a very handy uh, comb hairbrush. I forgot to bring my own comb uh, and bought one at the local Walmart. Turns out I should have just waited because I was going to get given one uh, which is much bigger. So I mean to uh, just make sure. Something a bit handy just to make sure that uh, your hair is looking fine which in this heat and all the sweat that you're giving off is to be honest often not the case another postcard now this one has a black and white image of sailing of a few people just sailing down the river in a boat a nice little artsy shot this uh, little golden case is not a giant gun ammunition pellet uh, which I initially thought it looked like. If we open it up we have some tea inside. It smells all right. I might give it a go now that I've had quite a fair amount of tea here in China and I'm a bit more used to drinking it. And thankfully I also got given this tea cup so I've got something to drink my tea in and it's actually a reasonable size for me to be able to get home in my bag rather than a massive teacup. Uh, so good choice on the small size one. Thank you. I got given this pen as well and then it says love a person even if not happy also want to be together. There is a tendency for English translations here to be a bit off both you know just in general on signs whether it's recycling or exits or um, random stuff like that or little objects like this and t-shirts. There are a number of English language t-shirts that we see going around with spelling mistakes or weird 
grammatical errors or just basically words that don't make sense. So a fun game, if you're ever in China, is to keep an eye out for those t-shirts and track down the funniest spelling mistake or grammatical error that you can find. I also got given this cute little star, which I believe they made themselves and decorated with lots of gold glitter. I got given this cookie by a girl. And to be honest, I've been constantly holding myself off not eating it so I can show it to you. But there, you've seen it. So now I'm gonna eat it. So I think it's got nuts in, and they're sort of crushed into very fine little things. They bring more of a crunch rather than a taste, I guess, uh, but you can taste them a bit. And there we go. Not only is this an unboxing video, it's also just become a bit of a mukbang. Two YouTube trends in one video. Okay, uh, another postcard here. It says, hello, nice to meet you. You are handsome. I'm gonna prove it to you. It says it right there. You are handsome. Cheers. Uh, thank you very much for that remark. Yeah, if you if you do say, uh, then yeah. I then got this bookmark with some, yeah, Chinese writing that I definitely don't understand. But thank you, because I forgot to bring a bookmark for the book that I actually did bring with me. So that is now incredibly useful. Thank you. Another bookmark here that it's a bit more like handcrafted when you need one bookmark to just come along at once. I've also got this uh, box here from the most recent camp. It's first off got this little plastic wind flute in with this nice little rainbow string. Uh, definitely my sort of colour scheme. Yeah, I think I could do with a bit more practice. But then, that's not actually the main bit of this one. Inside, there is also a lovely actual wind flute made out of pottery, and it's got a sort of flower pattern on the front. Thank you very much. This was a nice surprise. Was not expecting something this nice. So thank you so much for this. I should probably get on with the other ones. Finally, uh, the present that this box actually came with. This is not actually from a student, but from one of the um, TAs, teaching assistants, the Chinese students who have been with us over the past few weeks uh, helping us out. Uh, this is from one called Lily, who I sort of got to know and bonded with. She's super sweet and left me this gift before leaving. First off with this cool yellow key ring with a winky face emoji and then this next bit is like what really got me about this one. We took a photo a while ago with Lily, myself, and another of the Chinese uh, students called Celery. And she drew out the photo that we took by hand. So this is me in the middle, uh, and then Lily on the side, and Celery over here. Uh, she drew me with some quite nice uh, looking biceps, uh, got some thick arms there um, that can pale in comparison to what I have here. So I will take that. Thank you very much, Lily, for the upgrade in the muscle department. This was so sweet and amazing that she took the time to draw out the picture. Thank you so much, Lily. Even if we do look like faceless zombies. But to be honest, I really don't blame her for not drawing faces. My art is so bad. When I did body parts with the kids on my like weekend teaching trip, I did it through stick figures because my art is so bad I could not draw like a proper person. That is not box number two now down. 
And we move on to this final one. So this one is interesting. I got this cute little handmade wooden cross from one of the kids from our second camp that was based here at the hotel here in Jean Men. I'm not quite sure exactly what it's supposed to be, what I'm supposed to do with it. He came up to me doing this with it, so I'm assuming that it's meant to be some sort of toy that I can just play with, whether it's decorative, I don't know. It may not look like much, but a little secret, and don't tell the other students, the little guy who gave this to me uh, was one of my favourites. He was so lovely to be around, so thank you so much to him. I then have this box here inside. Uh, is this little thing. I initially thought that it might be some like mini wand, Harry Potter wand, but it is not a wand, but a actually quite nice pen. So yeah, thank you very much for this. And then we have officially reached the sort of final gifts. This again is not from a student, but from the TA Chinese student who helped our group specifically. Uh, she was called Kathy and she was absolutely amazing. She was like super organized, was constantly looking out for our group. Thank you so much to Kathy for helping us out. And she kindly gave us these little gifts, uh, gift bags before leaving. So first off, uh, it has this cute picture of us together from the first camp in Hai Chang, standing behind my Yorkshire poster. So the presents in the box are from a cake shop, I believe. These are called Yuan Tang Huang Pai. I'm pretty sure I've probably pronounced that wrong. We will give one of them a go since it is pretty much lunchtime. So there's this sort of dry filling inside and it's flaky pastry, I guess. Yeah, we'll give it a go. Mmm, it's got a fruity flavor. That's actually really nice. The company that sells it is, or their main thing that they sell is Huan Tang Huang Pineapple Cake. Um, I am definitely getting hints of pineapple Excuse me while I finish this. Enjoy the mukbang. I guess since the company is most famous for the pineapple cake, this is probably like a pineapple pie sort of thing. Luckily I have one more, uh, which although I could eat now, I'm gonna save it. Make sure I savor it because uh, it's super nice. And then lastly, but certainly not least, the final gift and the final one from Kathy is this, what I'm assuming is the pineapple cake. Yeah, we will open it up, see what is inside. Ooh. In the box is then the pineapple cake itself. Just from the outing, I can, those two appear to be black. These three have a bit of a lighter color to them. Uh, so let's delve in and see what we've got. Excuse me one moment. So here we have the pineapple cake. It's not like a soft like cake cake that you'd think of in Britain. It's a bit more crumbly like biscuit. I guess it sort of tastes like a bit of a like a soft um, shortbread. Almost like a short soft shortbread cake with a, a pineapple filling inside. Oh that was really good. Uh, so let's open one of these black ones, look a bit blacker, uh, see what difference we can find. See if there's a pineapple filling inside, yeah, you can see the contrast there. We 
but yeah, both really good. Thank you so much to Kathy for these. Yeah, going to save the three that I have left. Make sure I save them and don't gobble them up all now. That is us done. Thank you so much to absolutely everyone, all the students and TAs who gave me a gift. It's so heartwarming that you enjoyed what I was teaching and that we were able to get to know each other. Yeah, I'm going to miss you all and now I just have to work out exactly how I'm going to fit all this into my luggage as my bag was already fairly full coming here. So yeah, I think that's pretty much us done here with the presents. Thank you to you for watching this special little unboxing video. I hope you've enjoyed it and liked the little difference to the sort of usual vlogging schedule. We will of course get back into it next and my next four weeks that I'm here in China for. So the first week is what I've mentioned, the sort of other side of the cultural exchange where we're going to be taking around a few traditional and modern Chinese things. So make sure you stay tuned for that. And then second week we are planning, currently in the process of planning a few extra travels with the people that I have met here. And then after that is two weeks or two and a bit weeks of me heading out into the wider area of China and exploring the many great things that there are out here to do, including Shanghai, Xi'an, Beijing. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Give this video a like and hit that thumbs up uh, if you've enjoyed it. Uh, put your comments down below if you have any questions about, I guess, the teaching side of being out here in China and the volunteering or any other questions that you might have uh, that you'd like me to answer. And of course, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you get all the notifications about when the next videos come out if you want to keep up to date with the rest of my travels here in China. See you then.